Live from Las Vegas, it's Keto Cooking. I'm going to be making an oven-roasted pulled pork cushion. Wow, that's a mouthful. Now, everybody's been asking me, where does this cushion come from? Never heard of it. Well, it's the muscle between the picnic and the shoulder. Uh, it's detached from the bone. Uh, this is usually not used that much, but I'll tell you what. Let Google explain it. Where does the pork cushion come from? According to Smoke Barbecue Source, pork cushion itself comes from the picnic shoulder, which sits directly below the butt. The pork butt is very well marbled with quality intramuscular fat due to the fact that it's not an overly utilized muscle on the animal. Well, there you have it. Explained by Google. Okay, what I'm going to do is, this is going to get oven roasted in my Dutch oven. I'm going to brown it first on top of the stove. We'll season it with my Tommy Spice, which is salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Uh, I'm going to add some onions to it, and also some bourbon. All right, gonna get a little fancy here. You don't have to do it this way. Please be careful if you do. But I'm gonna add the bourbon in. Uh, Opa! Now, I've been doing this for many years, so you don't have to worry about that. You can shut the burner off. It'll never flare up on you. I just like to burn off some of the alcohol on there, but please be careful if you do it. Now, I'm gonna let this burn off a little bit. I'm gonna add about four ounces of water to it. And I'm going to cover it, and it's going to go into a 350-degree oven. Okay, cover's going on. Now, I made this pork many times, and I used to use green apples, onions, and bourbon. What a flavor. Give it a try. I always used to like to use the green Granny Smith apples. A little tart flavor. All right, into the oven's going to go, and we're going to cook this until it is pull apart tender. Okay, today I'm going to be making zucchini. Now, I'm going to be slicing it up here on my mandolin. I bet you nobody really realized I played a mandolin. Look at that. What a work of art. <laughs> a lot of people get nervous when I pull this thing out. So, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be making this almost like a zucchini lasagna, but with no sauce. Olive oil, garlic and cheese. I'm going to use a couple different cheeses on it, but light amount of cheese.
Okay, into the pan. A little olive oil. And I'm going to be sprinkling some Tommy Spice in. And we're going to start adding in the zucchini. So now I season the pan because when I put the zucchini in, all I have to do is season one side. I don't have to worry about flipping it and seasoning it. I'll go through it at aggravation. Time saver. That's all it is. So I'm going to brown these up and take them out. Partially cooked because I'm going to put them into a glass Pyrex. I'm going to put the cheese on it. S more seasoning. And it's going to go into the oven. Probably for about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, you see Tweezer Tom going to work. Now I'm going to take this off. Line it up in the pan. And then I'm going to be adding some uh, Pecorino Romano cheese. That'll be the first layer of cheese that goes on. Now I put it in this spoon here. Just I have a tendency to overpower it with, with stuff when I sprinkle it on freehand. So I put it into this slotted spoon. And just tap it, and it seems to come out a little bit more even. Now, very thinly sliced mozzarella cheese. It's going to go on, just a very thin layer. Matter of fact, it's going to start melting because the zucchini is hot. Now, this is going to have some great flavor to it. Uh, I tell you what, I'm, I can't wait to do this again. Okay, getting ready for the final layer of cheese. Now, as you can see on the top there, the mozzarella has already melted. Now, I'm going to be adding some ricotta cheese. Okay. This reminds me of a white pizza. If you've ever had a white New York-style pizza. Oh, wow. Outrageous. Okay. This bad boy is going to go into the oven with the pork. And uh, we're going to get ready to eat pretty soon. Pork is done. The aroma is unbelievable. Now, I'm going to pull this, and as I'm pulling it, I'm going to be moving around in the pan and pick up them juices. That's from the bourbon, onion, and also the pork juices. Now, a lot of people say, what does this have to do with the Mediterranean? Well, Mediterranean way of eating is clean. All clean stuff. As you can see, there's no labels on this. Uh... Don't have to worry about counting any kind of carbs with it. It's pretty clean. I pick up all them juices. Yep. Boy, I tell you what. This is great. Now, zucchini is done. Now, also on top here, I put a little bit of paprika, oregano, and some basil. Uh, this is all finished. We're going to plate this up, take it over to the table. I'm gonna give this bad boy a shot, man. Wow.
All right, there she be. Let's take her to the table and give it a taste. You know it's going to be good. All right. I tell you what, the zucchini had a really great flavor to it. The pork was off the charts. What a great flavor. Uh, the bourbon really set it off. The bourbon and the onion, that caramelized onion with the bourbon. Wow. Really good. Hey, listen, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Come back next time and see some more delicious delights from Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook.